Welcome everyone to Project Cars 2. It's time to go back to career. Haven't done it for a long time. I'm still stuck at uh, tier five of the Project Cars 2 career. Uh, Open Wheels Formula C World Championship. This is the round one. Autodromo International or Internacional do Algarve. Uh, <clears throat> Let's move that camera a little bit. It is. Can I move it? I think I should be able to move it. There we go. I found it. I can move it. How can I move it? I think I'll keep it there in the corner. <clears throat> it should appear soon on the stream. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Okay, all is ready. I'm just going to set you guys a proper set setup. This project cars to set. So let's go. I'm going to check the career settings. Um, opponent skill level 85, version 70. With that formula C, it's a bit of a hit and miss. So I had them between 100 and between, I think, 45, depending on the track they were. They're inconsistent. They can be super fast or they can be slow. Really hard to tell how they're going to behave. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to maybe keep them three to start with and we'll see how fast or slow they are. <clears throat> let's race. Or let's practice first. Practice qualification and then the race 10 laps. Okay, I don't have any particular sophisticated setup for that car, but I have one with very slight changes. Hit limiter engaged. We'll see how it's going to be to drive in Project Cross 2 because I. Uh, I drove in Assetto Corsa Competizione earlier and there are some significant differences between these two scenes. I forgot to switch on my uh, dashboard again. See, I think that Project Cars 2 has much better force feedback than Asada Corsa Competizione, at least in some areas, like... Project Cars 2 uh, provides better information about rear slip, so you can feel that you're losing the rear of the car earlier, you can feel that the spin is coming earlier and you have more time to catch it. I found it to be very difficult with the Assetto Corsa Competizione, but maybe, maybe it is because I've only done like hour and a few minutes in <laughs> Assetto Corsa Competizione while I did hundreds of hours in Project Cars 1 and 2. So. I may have a different opinion about it once I have more experience with Asta Corsa Competizione. I really need to. Oh, 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 oh. I need a dashboard. Okay, the dashboard is running. 
can focus on driving now. The tires are cold. Let's try to warm them up. The truck temperature is 41 degrees, which should help with uh, warming up the tires. It's quite warm. The brakes are still cold as well. One of the things I have noticed uh, when it comes to Asta Corsa Competizione comparison to Project Cars 2, the curves are much more forgiving in Asta Corsa Competizione in comparison to Project Cars 2. Uh, okay, I want to see the aggression of the AI. I have them at 70. We'll see how aggressive this guy will be at the first corner. He was very aggressive. He went over the sausage curve. In a car like that, highly unlikely in real life. They have much better uh, exit speed of that last corner and that uh, top speed here as well, I think. Not sure what is my configuration for the rear wing. But uh, the rear end of the car is very slippery, very loose. Um, it's like I have to fight for the grip, even at the higher gears. But I think this is the characteristic of the Formula C car. I don't like open wheel, and I particularly don't like that uh, Formula C car. Actually, the Formula Rookie was much funnier. Uh, to drive in comparison.
least I have a good temps in all four tires now. Well, maybe not good, but uh, good enough, I would say. Uh, the brake temps are still cold. I'm getting a good feeling for that car as it is at the moment. And I'm back to the stream, a uh, power cut in the area. Abruptly and brutally interrupted my previous stream from Project Cars 2, where I was in the practice session. So I have to start from the beginning, unfortunately, because my tires were already warm and I started doing some good lap times. But it is what it is. Cannot do anything about it. Um, just need to start my dashboard again. This time I'll do it before I'm on the racetrack. Okay, here we go. And let's do some. Oh no, I want my setup. It's uh, nothing sophisticated. I think this is just a uh, fuel. And here we are. I haven't changed anything when it comes to difficulty or aggressiveness. It's still 85. Actually, I forgot to lower the aggressiveness. It's 75, where I wanted it at 70. So it's, sorry, it's 83 and 75. That's what it is at the moment. And I found 75 aggressiveness to be a bit too aggressive. AI behavior is, is quite strange. Uh, that high aggressiveness, they <clears throat> they like to crush into my car. They cut corners. Cold tires, cold brakes again. I need a fill ups to get them to the working temperature.
tires are still cold, so I still need to take it a bit s carefully, slower than I would like to. The rear of the car is still a bit loose, especially in the lower gears. I think I need another lap to get the tires to a good working temp. My mistake, I shouldn't be on that curb there. Driving over the curbs in Project Cross 2 can really influence the balance of the car. They kind of also have a tendency of sucking the car in. It's really hard to get out of them. The left hand side is warm now, the right hand side is still cold. That Formula C is quite hard to drive. I'm really curious how it compares to a real life Formula C car. Or if Formula C car even exists, something similar, maybe Formula 3 or something. I would expect such a light car with so much downforce to <coughs> behave more naturally. But I actually find it to have a very loose rear end. Okay, all four tires are now warmed up. They're not perfect, but they are good enough. Breaking over the curb wasn't a good idea. Destabilized the car and I went with a big slide. I lost quite a lot of time there on that slide.
Okay, it was much better this time in that corner. I avoided the curb, the braking was good. Now it's the hardest corner of this uh, track. Hitting that apex is crucial here. It gives a chance to go on that throttle a bit earlier. Half a second quicker than my best lap so far. I'm sure I can do better than that. Let's see, I'm 20th out of 22 at the moment, really bad time. Uh, should improve now? Yeah, 7th, so that's quite an improvement, almost a second quicker than last time. I think I can do better than that still. bit quicker than the last time, nothing special though. Oh, he's slowing me down now. <laughs> Quite a slide, but I caught it just in time. A bit of slipstream. Why is it so much on curbs? Very slippery in those corners. Not sure what to expect from him here. Have to be careful.
Okay. I think I'll try to do one more lap, uh, hopefully a clean one, without any cars in front of me at the moment. I think the one which is there is too far away to have to worry about him. Someone just exited the pit stop, or the pit lane, which means that he will be slow on that first lap. Yeah, I'm catching up with him. Ah, oh, so that another lap wasted. He's fifth though, so possibly he will be fast enough. Possibly. I think I'll try to attack now just to get rid of him. But it definitely was slower than optimal driving line. I had a bit of a slide there. Oh, I still caught the car and I still got a better time than my previous best. Always nice to see. Even though there was that slower car plus a mistake. Coming out of from this corner is quite important to get a good rolling high speed over that corner and then on the straight. Small improvement. I'm second at the moment on that practice session, and that was while having to deal with uh, a slower car. If I don't catch up with those in front, I should have enough of free air to try to improve that time. I'm expecting AI to be faster on qualification though. It's quite, quite slow actually. Three tenths of a second is quite a lot. Okay, I think what I'll do, I'll go to a garage now. Roger that, now, we'll be ready when you are. And I will skip to qualification. Interesting enough, the rear right tire is the coldest of all. Those front tires are working much harder, from what I can see. Slow down just in time. 60 kilometers per hour, 59. As per the speed limiter. Good. Let's return to pit box. Let's let's uh, skip to end. OK. 
okay and let's continue the qualifying uh, i don't have qualification set i'll be driving on the same fuel i had for this practice session and i will have the same for the race i guess it's 10 laps on the race uh, i will double i have 15 liters i'll double check what that car burns per lap on the and start pushing. Cold tires again, cold brakes, to be careful on those first laps. The Formula C doesn't differentiate between soft, medium or hard tires, I think. It is just, uh, just uh, one set of slicks one type of one compound of slicks when it comes to the amount of set I guess I can have as many as I want uh, project cars doesn't lock the amount of compounds you can use or the amount of sets you can use like Assetto Corsa Competizione does which is pretty cool actually when it comes to Assetto Corsa Yeah, let's try to do that. So the tires are still quite cold. Below 70 degrees, all of them. 70 degrees where they switch to green. Which means they're reaching a good working temp. I'm definitely losing on these last two corners. The AI is faster here. They have a better exit out of that. Uh, I think it's. I think there are 14 corners here, so it will be 13th. Let's see what the time is. 149.54. That is not a pole position time. It may look like that now because I'm first but once they start putting good times I'm sure they'll be faster than that if I to uh, the guy in front of me is second at the moment okay At least I'm getting a good slipstream from him.
A small improvement, not a big one though. I'm closer than I was in the previous lap. But he's being, for some reason, faster in that section. I don't know how that works exactly. Even though I'm having a slipstream. I may still use that slipstream to my advantage. Yeah, I went below 49. That, that should be very close to pole position. Big slider. I'm losing some of my uh, area effect driving behind that car. Better exit. I won that position <laughs> on the truck. I was too dangerous. He had the inside. There wasn't much I could do there. I'll get the inside on that corner, but then he will have inside on the other one, or on the next one. Actually having outside here is not too bad. And a bit faster this time again. Okay, let's see if I can improve the time, even if just by 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seconds. Yeah, I was just enough, 1 point, 0 0.15. No one's behind me. Look at that, folks, this lap. I'll just pit now. And we'll wait for this session to finish. A little bit more than six minutes left at that stage. Pit limiter engaged slowly to my pit box and then to the garage. There we go. We won't be waiting here, we'll just go right through to the pit box. And we have 0 0.4, 4 tenths of a second, or 396 thousandths of a second. Advantage over a second. They are actually. Slower than expected. 
because those are their times from practice and I was expecting them to be quicker in qualification uh, 1.5 liter per lap 10 laps 15 liters that's what we should have in the fuel tank more or less let's see how much uh, do we actually have we've got 15 liters I'm actually going to put two more liters extra just in case um, Okay, I'm going to save that. We have four minutes left till the end of the session. Actually, I'm going to skip. There's no point waiting now. Skip to end. Yeah, well, the pole position is mine. So, how's my teammate doing? His eighth team, Jake Mobile. Let's move to race. Ten laps. 10 laps, 10 laps, uh, super hot on the track, 58 degrees truck temperature, 38 ambient, really, really hot. Uh, should be easier to keep the temps, uh, tire temperatures up, a good working temperature, so let's Focus race. Go for a clean getaway, defend that pole position. First go, clutch. Not a good start. I think I'm going to lose that position to that first corner. Or maybe not, maybe I'm going to keep it. Oh, uh, yeah. I went a bit wide. I wanted to leave enough space for the for the guy who was on the inside, but AI slowed more than I was expecting. They are set to 75 aggressiveness and they I found them to be quite aggressive at 75, so it was a surprise. He shows himself there on the left hand side, on the inside, on the braking. He wasn't close enough to attack. I have to be quick in that section of corners because then they will be quicker in the last two corners and they will have advantage over that long straight and that's very easy to attack there and it's very easy to lose a position so I want to have enough of advantage so I don't have to worry about it defending there Now that's the corner where they are significantly quicker than I am usually. I think it wasn't too bad now for my for me. Good exit from this corner. Uh, I have 1.2 seconds advantage. I'm slowly losing it. So as I expected, they are quicker Great at the exit. and they also much faster in the first corner. The advantage was reduced from 1.3 at the exit of that one but last corner to 0.6 at the exit of the first corner. It's back to one second now. Ah, oh, the curves in project cars too, they are annoying. They're staying close, it's still around one second. Having 1.5 now, and I'm expecting to start losing it soon. Though, I was still 
gaining at the exit, but then I started losing here and a lot. It's from 1.5 to 1.1. I don't know how are they so fast in that last corner leading to the start finish line. And again, 0 0.6 seconds. They are super fast in that first corner as well. I can only assume it's... Uh, I'm not saying it's not possible by a good sim racer to achieve. But that would require a huge amount of skills. Uh, good stuff. You're fast in sector one. I still think that AI is cheating. And... They are not affected by the same physics as plier, plier's car. They just drive according to an algorithm. And they are as fast as they need to be per the difficulty level setup. Or it's being called here uh, AI skill level, right? Not difficulty. Really good tire temperatures, uh, close to 100 degrees. One point six seconds, and I'm losing again. So it should be a bit more than the last time. It's still one one point five. That's your fastest lap in the race so far. That's great, pace. Love your work. I think those high tire temperatures uh, on the track help me to achieve good lap times because those tires are having a perfect working temp. Uh, my last lap was faster than my qualification lap. It's actually my personal best. It's still around one second overall. And one mistake and it's all gone. One point four seconds on my dashboard. It shows differently in uh, in the game. Your pace is good. We need to build the gap up to second. Push harder. I think I finally was quite quick in the first corner. It wasn't on par with AI, but it was the fastest I ever was, I think, in the first corner. It took a bit of risk. I think it paid off. That's the best sector time of anyone so far. Great job. Keep it up. Good tire temps, a bit... The brakes are a bit cold, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about it. Because the brake ducts are not adjustable in that car.
the water temp is 111. I haven't adjusted the engine cooling, the radiator opening. Oh yeah, it's running really hot at the moment. One point eight seconds. One point nine seconds at that moment. I was a bit too late on Brakester, but I saved it. But it costed me quite a lot of time. I recover a bit of the time in the second sector. Two point one second. And it's going slowly. Oh, it's actually staying above two seconds. This is the first time I'm gaining, not losing. Oh, I'm losing now. I think I got a good rhythm now. I have a good feeling of that car. Brilliant second sector. That's the, the best time so far. Yeah, the times are good. A bit of a sleep there, but it's uh, almost three seconds now. There was change on the P2. I think it was Mark Pressburg who was second, now he's fourth. With Matthew Mull taking P2. Good. I haven't really noticed that it got really dark here in my room and that my wheel is now barely visible for that camera. Breaking over the curb, it's not the most pleasant 
experience. It's quite dangerous as well. 2.3 seconds now. Advantage over the second. A bit of a slider, a small one and easy to control. I don't think it costed me much time, that big slider. Well, it wasn't big, it was long, I would say, but it wasn't big. 3.4 seconds now. Two more laps to go, a bit of a slide here. When I was going over the hill there. Lap ninth out of ten. Three point three seconds advantage. It looks like there are very minor differences between the drivers from P two to P four. Can change there behind my back. I should be able now to drive safely to the end and keep that P1. Quite a wide exit is all the truck there was. Unnecessarily, I think. It didn't give me an extra time. I don't think it costed me any time. It doesn't matter at that stage. I have now almost four seconds advantage and one more lap to do. Just one more lap to go. Keep on it all the way to the line. We can win this. Nice use of both uh, curbs, even though I'm not a big fan of using curbs in project cars too. And I don't think that anyone is. They are quite dangerous. I like how they program this uh, race engineer. Final corner and uh, final straight. And it's a finish. And it's a win. Let's finish that cool down lap. 102 degrees was the temperature on the left front tire. 102 is still within good working temperature. 92 on the right one. 95 at the rear left and 
87 at the rear right. The engine is at 87%, so 30% of the engine. So, yeah, 13% got this is the damage of the engine due to the high temperatures. I, um, I haven't opened the radiator and the consequence is high oil and water temperatures. 108 was the last registered when I was crossing the finish line for water, 118 for oil. And that was causing the damage to the engine. But of course, it's just 10 laps race, so it doesn't matter that much. I had 1.8 liter of fuel left, so for one extra lap. Fantastic, great win, you nailed it today, brilliant driving. Looks like they parked my car half into the wall. <laughs> 4.7 seconds advantage. My teammate uh, arrived in position A where he started, I think, so nothing changed there. I think Mark Pressburg, if I remember correctly, was the fastest. Uh, was the second driver at the start, or he lost some positions. Uh, let's see how it looks like. 26 points for me. So that has to be 25 plus one for uh, fastest lap, I guess. How does the team look like? 30 as a team, so we still got the highest amount of bone points as a team. Driver rosters, I have 27 points, so it has to be extra one point for qualification, I guess. So it's 25 for the race, one for fastest lap, one for quali. As a team, 31. That's much closer fight here than in the driving, the driver's uh, championship, but this is just the first race. Uh, I clicked, oh, here we go. We got an email. Okay, cool. That was for my quality. Let's have a quick look. What is the next race? It's Monaco. Okay. I won't be doing it today. I'll be finishing for today when it comes to project cars. So I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Have a good day.